common name is the blue calamintha bee, and the scientific name is Osmia calamintha. It is a metallic blue bee. Uh, from what we know, it's very unique and rare. Hi, I'm Chase Kimmel. I'm a postdoctoral researcher for the Florida Museum of Natural History, and I'm here researching the blue calamintha bee right here on the Lake Wales Ridge, trying to get a better understanding of it, its habitat, what it goes to, and how we can actually help it. The main host plant is the ashes calamint, or that's what's thought. It does uh, utilize the plant um, and collects a lot of pollen on its, its forehead, um, and it actually bobs its head. It'll grab the flower and rub its head on the flower itself, collect pollen on its head, and many times um, it'll actually fly around with that pollen on its forehead, so it's this... Uh, it's almost like a, a blue Santa Claus or something. It's very, it's like, it's, it has white hairs and this big pollen mass on its forehead. Um, but it's a, it's a pretty unique little bee. Uh, it does sting. So uh, I have been stung a couple of times. It didn't hurt that much compared to honeybees or bumblebees. And we did a, a habitat suitability analysis. And so then we had museum volunteers uh, diligently go out and actually in some of the scrub habitat. And well, we saw a blue bee that was, that was bobbing its head and we started to get excited. So we ran back to the car, got our nets and the cameras and went out and actually were able to capture it. And it was a very, very exciting moment, but also a little nerve wracking because I'd only ever seen dead ones in museums and so I was I was questioning my own ability to identify them but fortunately we we got some some great photos and were able to uh, confirm that with others that it was in fact the bee. Every single bee that we've caught um, we have released and not harmed. Um, the only thing that we've done is we've we've taken a little bit of their pollen a little bit of their food so that we can actually go analyze it to figure out what they're going to so that we can hopefully help them in the future. It's a really unique ecosystem. Unfortunately, there's not much of this habitat remaining. And so it's really important that there's a lot of endemic species that may only occur on this ridge in these habitats. So by restoring and helping conserve some of these areas, we can, we can protect them and know that they're going to be here for the future.